The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials, named Jairus, came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please, come, lay your hands on her, that she may get well and leave. He went off with him, and the large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? But his disciples said to Jesus, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside, except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of 12, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utter, utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, our liturgy today shows us Jesus as Savior, Jesus as healer, Jesus as someone who sees people's needs and who can help. Moreover, Jesus who comes to save the body and soul. Not only the readings, but also the prayers today in the Mass show us 
God as Savior, as healer, as someone who is near to me and you, who is not a God who would live far, far away and wouldn't have any interest in this world. Not at all. In Jesus Christ, God came to us very personally, very near, to be one of us, to live our life in everything except the sin. This good news, this gospel, show us, shows us Jesus who is in the middle of the crowd. Around him many people with their needs, afflictions, with their sickness, with all their struggles. And in the middle of them, Jesus. Look how close, look how human Jesus is shown in this gospel. This message about the daughter of synagogue official of Jairus is something that can touch our hearts. Master, teacher, my daughter is at the point of death. Please come and lay your hands on her that she may get well and leave. How much faith, how much trust we hear in this one sentence. Please come and touch her that she might leave. In the face of death, he still believes that Jesus can heal his child. And Jesus is immediately on the way to his house. And on this way, this woman comes with her struggles, with her affliction. She says, if I only touch his clothes, I shall be cured. How much faith, how much trust and it happens. The only one touch of the clothes of Jesus can help her. And what is the reaction of Jesus? Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. It is exactly like St. Saint Paul writes in his letters. Everything is possible for those who believe our faith, our trust, our hope and love to God, this is what is deciding. So he goes forward to this house of Jairus. And then this, one of the biggest miracles in the whole gospel, two words, Talita come, little girl, I say to you, arise. Two words in the Aramaic language, Talita come. This is enough. When God speaks, it is enough to hear two words, to arise from death. If only one believes, Jairus and his faith and his hope, it was all exactly what was deciding. And then, my dear brothers and sisters, our life. We hear the gospel, we come to the mass, we pray together, we worship God as healer and savior, and then we go back to our homes. What is with our faith and our trust? Two words of Jesus, Talita, come and we can arise from our spiritual deaths, from our sins, from all our afflictions, addictions, from everything what is difficult. Talita come, two words. 
May dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Gospel and the liturgy show us Jesus as healer. As someone who is God's son, the only begotten son of God, but also one of us. Who understands our struggles and needs. And who always can and will help. What is so important in this gospel, this woman's faith, Jairus' faith and trust, what is so important in my spiritual Christian life, my faith, to hear these two words, Talita come and arise. My faith, my trust my hope, my Jesus.